Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another Madden 21 ratings uh, preview for you guys. Uh, the Madden 21 defensive end slash uh, defensive lineman pass rushers. They kind of lumped all that into one category this year, which I think they actually did in the past as well. But they have just recently released uh, the top 10 rated uh, what they're calling pass rushers. So obviously these guys do more than rush the passer. They also stop the run and stuff like that. There's definitely things that you know don't get encompassed in that name. Name. but they released the ratings list of the top 10 guys i'm going to go over that real quick uh, as well as i'm going to go over who i think got snubbed for this list because ultimately this is a pretty good list uh, but there's definitely some guys that had amazing years last year that were left off so starting from the top down number one we have aaron donald who's been a 99 in madden for some time i, I announced in a video a couple days ago uh, that he was part of the 99 club one more time once again uh, i'll put a link in the description for all the previous videos of all the previous positions uh, that i've gone over so far so that you guys can catch up if you're just now watching this video uh, but ultimately Aaron Donald part of the 99 club probably well deserved I mean the guy uh, won two of the last three defensive player of the year awards so it's really hard to say that even though he had a slightly down year last year he's still one of the best defensive players in the game so it's really hard to argue that I'm gonna argue the guy at number two JJ Watt there's no doubt to anybody that he's one of the best players in the game he's a generational uh, player I mean he's one of the greatest uh, defensive ends in NFL history uh, but at this point in his career it just seems like he's injured more than he actually plays three of the last four years this guy has missed more than half the season uh, and you rarely I mean I don't nobody really talks about him as, as how injury prone he really is so to have him as a 98 overall we haven't seen that you know what I mean I mean aside from 2018 where he had 16 sacks looked like he was bad Looked like he was the guy we all remember. Um, aside from that 16 game season he played, he has a total of four and a half sacks in three years around that. And like I said, I know he missed a lot of time. But it's like, I mean, when he's as prime, he's one of the best in the league. But I don't think that you can view him like he's as prime anymore. I think he's at the point now, he's over 30. He's at the point where he's probably going to be leaving his prime. And I just don't feel like he should be the number two player on here anymore. Uh, number three, Khalil Mack. He's another guy. Great player. Came onto the Bears. Uh, you know, lit the league on fire that first year. And then last year uh, kind of faded away a little bit. Um, but ultimately, I can't really argue. I mean, he definitely deserves to, to have that consistent rating. Same thing with Von Miller, who's also tied for third. Um, to me, Von Miller is a guy I still think should be. Uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of his, so I, I. But I still think I think he should be the second best player on this list. I mean, look what he did the, the Super Bowl year. I know it was a while ago, but he carried that team. He put that team on his back, uh, which is something JJ Watt's never been able to do. Khalil Max never been able to do. Aaron Donald's never been able to do. Uh, Von Miller put that team on his back. Um, you know, he basically he won MVP of the game. But he also he got an interception against Tom Brady in the AFC Championship game. Stuff like that people forget. To me, Von Miller is the second best guy on here, if not the best. Uh, he could be a 99. I don't think anybody would cry about that. Uh, moving down the list, Fletcher Cox. He's a guy. I'm an Eagles fan. I'll tell you right now. I think his rating, a lot of these guys just seem to be getting their ratings based off of reputation rather than actual production, at least off the last year. Like I said, I know consistency plays this part, and these guys earn uh, the, the benefit of the doubt. Overall, I don't really have any complaints about this list except for the guys that I think aren't on it which I'll get to here in a minute uh, but Chandler Jones He's a guy rated 95, uh, led the NFC in sacks last year. I mean, I don't know who else is on the Cardinals that was drawing any attention away from him. He probably got double and triple teamed every play and somehow still got 19 sacks. To me, he should probably be a little bit higher on this list. I mean, he's really, since he's going to Arizona, he's flying under the radar as one of the best pass rushers in history. I mean, he's just, look at his stats. I mean, just Google his stats. It's insane how, how, how productive this guy has been, and he just doesn't get talked about enough so i have no problem with any of the guys that are on this list i just feel like maybe ea should have expanded it because they definitely left left a lot of guys off they could have gave each individual position its own due time uh because i mean there's no joey bosa who i think at this point has probably proven himself to be worthy to be on this list pretty much every year is one of the best defensive ends in the league uh they got jj watt but they don't have tj watt tj watt had 14 and a half sacks last year daniel hunter also 14 and a half sacks last year for minnesota those guys both were in the top five and they're not on this list top five and sacks not on this list 
Zadarius Smith had an amazing year. I think he might have, I might have made All Pro, and I'm pretty sure he made the Pro Bowl. But he burst onto the scene in a big way in Green Bay. Obviously, you can't have everybody on this list, but I think he's a guy that could have been on here. And probably my biggest snub uh, was Shaquille Barrett. I mean, the guy led the league in sacks with 19 and a half. He had a hell of a lot of turnovers too. That was really the part that that's what made him such an amazing force last year. Is he had six forced fumbles. You know what I mean? And Chandler Jackson, by the way, had eight. Which, like I said, I keep going back to how how good he is, and he just doesn't get talked about enough <laughs> but but ultimately i mean that that you know that's neither here nor there another guy who had eight sacks or eight force fumbles i'm sorry was tj watt so like i said these are guys probably could have either been on this list uh but it seems like they're really just you know i can't say like it's hard to say who should be taken off but these are all guys that i feel like they earn their place in this top 10 list so i think ea might have dropped the ball by not doing edge rushers in one category maybe and then you know defensive tackles in another category something like that so you could get more of these guys on this list uh because you know, like i said they really left them off maybe they could have did three four defensive linemen and four three defensive linemen top 10 of each so you could see those guys something like that but just meshing them all together like that a lot of guys are really getting forgot about and overlooked so i'm gonna go to my end of it there if you guys think of any names that you think should have been on this list let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching mad my shit out need more help or just want to show your support Support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.